Hello and welcome back to Trying to Live Forever. Today we're going to talk about some simple things dietary wise that you can change to lower your cholesterol levels. And okay, since we're over 50, you know, we have to start watching things, heart health, okay, heart healthy things we have. And there's some things that you've been beating on your body for a while, all your younger years, and now it's time to rein it back and we have to start thinking about longevity. And so heart health is the main thing. And some of the things you can do in your diet that we can, to fix things. So just by some dietary changes, you can lower your cholesterol levels. And I'm, the way I'm, so I'm saying this is because I did it myself. Since you're here, give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, smash that like button. It's down here. See, it's, I can see, I'm looking, it's down here somewhere. Smash that like button. You know you want to. I did this just by changing some dietary choices. I did lower my cholesterol, bad cholesterol level and raise my good cholesterol level. So here's what I did. First thing I did was I got rid of this shitty, poisonous, bad for you, awful, homogenized, rancid, over the counter vegetable oil. Now, only that I have this in the house, it's left over. This is about three years old, all right? So I don't use it anymore. I went to extra virgin olive oil. And just finding a good one in the glass jar, do your research. There's, there are lots of brands out there, even at Walmart, that has extra virgin olive oil. That's literally actual extra virgin olive oil. Because on the ingredients list, list, it says extra virgin olive oil, nothing else. The ingredients list on this is a book. All right. Go from regular over-the-counter vegetable to extra virgin. And if you say, oh, you can't fry with it, you can't do it. Hey, I made fried potatoes with it Tuesday. It works just fine, okay? And it's much, much better for the better cholesterol for you. Okay, second thing I did. I went from using this to this. Regular over-the-counter butter at Walmart. They sell it two packs, one pack, whatever. Okay, I did a little test a couple years ago. I had read that animals don't recognize this as food. So I bought a little thing of this one time, put it on the garage, left it open for a year. There was nothing on it but dust. No vermin tracks, no incense tracks, no nothing. They don't recognize that as food. They won't consume that. But we do, as American public. We were sold a bill of goods in the 70s that margarine was better than butter. That's bullshit. Okay? Go to regular butter. Regular butter is your friend. Margarine is poison, just like the vegetable oil. Get rid of it, okay? Number three thing I did. Natural peanut butter. Okay? And as you can tell, this is well used. I love my peanut butter. I don't think, I don't have never met a dude that don't like peanut butter, okay? So, the grocery list on this, peanuts and salt. That's it. I don't have the other stuff in the house. If I had it, it'd be another book of ingredients, of emulsified, poisonous, just sugars and bad and additives and everything. This is peanuts and salt. Okay, this is what they send to Ethiopia whenever they're starving. They send peanuts because it's an all-in-one one of the best foods you can, and it's a great fat. It's a good fat for you, not a bad fat like the margarine or like the vegetable oil. Regular, natural, peanuts and oil peanut butter. Next thing I did was I changed my diet up a little bit. I have salmon or fish once or twice a week. I just substituted a, a chicken meal or a beef meal with a salmon or a fish. So we have it in the freezer. We have fish once or twice a week. Okay, just to cut down on the little bit of bad fats and add some good fats in. To go along with that, I started taking an omega-3 supplement. Now this one is uh, 900 milligrams per pill. And if I, I go, I get my blood work done every three or four months. And if my 
bad cholesterol is going up a little bit and my good cholesterol is going down a little bit, I'll, I'll run like one pill a day with my normal vitamin stack in the morning. But if I know I need to adjust, then I'll adjust and I'll add a little bit more. If it's the whole process of this guys is, is starting to lower your bad and add to the good. And so you're just changing the ratios. That's all you're doing. And it's just by simple changes in your diet that you really aren't really going to notice a lot. You're going to notice the texture with the peanut butter when you first begin. You're not going to notice the taste with the oil. If you, you know, I'm a southern guy. I love my fried potatoes. And I always got told that you can't fry with, this, with olive oil. That it something happens to it. It's bad. Eh, wrong answer. I've been frying uh, potatoes with that for several, several years. And never had a problem. Never had a problem with it, you know. And who doesn't like butter? Who doesn't like butter? Okay. Now the next thing is the bonus one. And this is, I have a friend that has chickens. And so Walmart eggs, the yolks in Walmart eggs are garbage. They're, you know, they're factory raised, they're factory done. They're not good for you. Okay. They're cholesterol levels good to bad are just off the shelf because they shove them full of hormones they get them grown as fast as they can they you know they pump them full of stuff just to get them to lay eggs it's not good the egg whites i still use those because i use those in my breakfast but regular walmart eggs i don't like the yolks i don't like eating yolks i have a friend that has chickens so i buy their free range you can go to his house and you can watch the chickens walking around eating bugs and the just the the texture the flavor the color difference the health benefits of a fresh farm raised eating bugs and plants and stuff off the ground it just it not it's out of the park it knocks it out of the park now you can buy and i don't really trust them but you can buy those omega-3 eggs at walmart they're pricey but i mean find a friend that has chickens find some place local that has chickens and eggs and get them because they are the health benefits on them are tremendous and that's all i did and by doing that and losing a little bit of weight i lowered my cholesterol levels to normal levels when they were way up there okay it can be done and whoop, i'm prepping food there's my cue so i'm done that here ended the lesson on this one guys so y'all have a great day because a great day today could be an even better day tomorrow y'all be good